Yeah, I think we've had uh, a lot of really good preparation. I think just kind of how I've approached practice and um, limiting my kicking, you know, in the past, I think I probably overdid it during the week. Um, and that didn't give my body time to recover enough for games. So I felt a lot fresher going into the games. And uh, and that's that's got something to do with it. But we've got a great operation going with field goals. Uh, Jake Reinhardt, he's a rookie, he's stepped in and done a great job replacing Rempel. And, um, and then me and Trevor, this is our third season now to be, um, you know, for him to be holding for me. So he kind of knows uh, what I like. And we've got a good rhythm. And um, a lot of it uh, is that. And, you know, just going into the, to the season, um, every year I think you get more and more comfortable, um, you know, in how I approach my warm up and how I approach preparation on the sideline uh, as we get in field goal range and all that. So I just feel really good right now, um, not overdoing things and, uh, you know, confident in our operation. And so, so all that, you know, all that leads to, to a good field goal percentage, I guess. Can you talk about your relationship with Jake Reinhardt? What's it been like working with him, especially him as a rookie? I'm sure you've been mentoring him through it a little bit. Uh, what's it like hanging out with him, uh, working with him every day, and obviously on the field? Yeah, you know, he's done just an incredible job. I've been uh, been really happy with how he's done. And, you know, we've had, I would say, four or five uh, really pressure big kicks, you know. Um, most recently the one, uh, I guess we had a – one last week that was a big kick that we needed to make to keep us in the game. and But uh, the go-ahead field goal in Ottawa two weeks ago, 47-yarder and, you know, a minute left and, and uh, we're down. So that was uh, that was probably his biggest pressure kick. And, um, you know, he's he's prepared uh, great in practice and in his mindset. He, he doesn't really overthink things. He doesn't get too um, heavily involved in the situation. He just goes out there and plays. And, um, and so I, I honestly haven't had to give him a ton of advice. I think the biggest thing that I can do is to, um, I guess, take his focus off of the pressure of the game and all that. So we just goof around and have a good time. And then when it's time to go out there, we do our job. Coach Milanovic actually had a private meeting with a number of his uh, leadership type players, uh, five or six in the month before the game on Saturday. And he says that a change needs to be made to the team's preparation uh, towards games and on practice on a daily basis. Does that include kickers at all when, when he says something like that? Or do you guys continue your normal routine? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we've got a pretty good routine going right now, but in every facet of the game when you're losing, there's always something that you can pinpoint to where you could get better, your unit or uh, your operation. Uh, average, you know, everything can can improve. And so um, that's something that every single person on the team needs to take a look at. And that's what we've done. And um, last week, we didn't have our best uh, punting, um, punt and punt coverage performance, too many penalties. Uh, I misplaced some balls. And so, um, yeah, we take that seriously as well. And we're going to try to improve going into this week. And lastly, you were named player of the month uh, today for the five previous month. Can you tell me your thoughts on winning that award? Does it mean anything to you? And uh, yeah, what's your thoughts on winning uh, player of the month? Yeah, I just found out um, it's an honor. Uh, I don't believe I've had that before up here. And, um, and so, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, you know, that obviously reflects the last couple of uh, weeks. Here we are going into week six already. And, um, you know, day by day, the season seems like it lasts forever. But uh, here we are, almost a third of the way done, and it's you know it's good to to know that that we've got this great of a start. Um, as you know, we head into the second third of the season. These games are uh, going to begin to count more and more, and so that gives us confidence as a special teams unit to to you know continue dominating that that phase of the game.